I don't know if this will pick up, but that sound down there is not wind. That's the sound of the creek rushing. It rained really hard last night. Here's where we were looking out this morning when it was dark. Uh, creek's way off down there. You can't really see it from here. But uh, today, I want to talk about doing math the, the, the farm way. And uh, the, probably the point of this video is the math isn't really math. It just is uh, managing uh, variables, managing uh, equipment, cows, uh, feed, hay, learning what needs to be done to keep everything profitable. Uh, making changes pretty much is what I've done every year because you think you have something figured out and it's not really uh, figured out. What's the answer to this equation? Quality forage plus clean water plus high protein feed equals high quality milk that's wholesome, delicious, and marketable. So the name of the game in the dairy industry is get as much milk in the milk tank as you can before the truck comes again. And the uh, math behind that is dependent upon one more variable that I did not include in this uh equation we're missing something we need some algebra experts hey kids what am i missing i need milk i've got clean water i've got quality forage and i've got grain in the barn what am i missing that's easy dad 51 51 you know, in algebra, you can't just do it in your head. You have to show your work. This is 51. She is one of the uh, cows that I mentioned in the last video that came to us in 16. Uh, one that uh, was semi-donated to us until we could get started. Well, she's got to be close to 11, 10, 11 years old. Makes a lot of milk. But uh, that's not the only thing that this girl has been producing for the last eight years for us. There's also this right here. Very useful out there on the hay pasture. And also, she produces offspring. Actually, in farming, all the, uh, all the inputs are variables. The hay is variable. Uh, the, the feed is not as variable, but there's very, very, it does vary, and the cows are all variable. So that's why farming can be so difficult, because it's uh, a lot of variables, weather. Uh, so when you do farming math, <laughs> just re remember that the answer isn't always going to be the same, because the inputs are, never, are not always going to be the same. Well, she made 28 pounds. So today's video ended up a little clunky. That's probably because I put way too much thought into it. What I really wanted to get down to was uh, cows don't make milk, uh, grass doesn't make milk, feed doesn't make milk, uh, clean water doesn't make milk. None of this works unless the Lord makes it work. Uh, you can tell me how things work and uh, explain the science and the villi and the, and the rumination and the 
dry matter intake you can explain all that to me but you cannot explain to me how a cow can take green grass brown feed make delicious white creamy frothy milk it's just a miracle that's all that is that's the that's the unknown uh um equation uh is that uh, the lord actually keeps all of this together and he sustains it day by day to uh give us a way to um, produce uh income for our family but uh if you can if not figure the lord into it figure his providence and his continual uh uh, upholding of all things then the 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 equation just doesn't work <laughs> and we take it for granted daily uh, that all these things just happen and they don't they're all little miracles and uh, we should uh, try to remember that Someday we'll have to say goodbye to 51, maybe sooner than later. We've been through a lot together. Hard winters, early mornings, late nights, snapping turtle injuries, milk stones, barbed wire lacerations, and milk fever. When these things happen, however they happen, it's a reminder that maybe 51 isn't the answer. I've not been cared for by grass, rain, cows, milk or milk checks. I've been cared for by someone far more faithful. He cares for me in such a way that all things work together for my good.